Yo guys, what's up? This is BTV here and I'm back on Doc Rich's channel after like 5 billion years. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be narrating a few games for Doc because he wants me in the basement and he's busy as fuck for some reason. So yeah, I'll be going over a few week up games. And uh, today we have an interesting game and it's um, or it's Sidumas vs Sabella. And I think uh, these both players have like played each other like I don't know, a lot of times in the past one year. Uh, I know that Sabella beat Sidemas in uh, OLT, and then Sidemas beat him in like Snake and Volca and uh, SPL. And this is like their fifth game or sixth game, I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is almost a rivalry at this point, and these both players are like um, really uh, good. And yeah, so. And I've actually played both of these players in SPL, and yeah, they're both really cool, and they both are really good players. So this is going to be an interesting game for sure. And yeah, Sabella is from Northeast, and Sidemas is from uh, France. So without further without further ado, let's just get straight into the game. So Sabella is using a very East-like looking team uh, with like Megazam and like um, Scarf Zone, and. The rocker is probably uh, Lando, and yeah, the rocker is most likely the Lando because he, otherwise he has no rocks user. So Sabella's so team is probably like um, Greninja. It can be either Ash or Protean, um, Majorna, which is probably AV because um, yeah, it's it's most likely AV because uh, he because his Greninja switchins are uh, not really good. So it's probably AV Majorna and. Um, Landris with his stealth rocks, um, Scarf Zone, uh, probably Z move on Kartana and uh, Mega Zam. Um, and Sidemas has a very interesting team, uh, um, some Mega Mobile bulky offense. Um, and he has a Fire Water Grass Core and uh, Heatran, AV Bulu, or it's, it can be Leftovers, SD, Hall Lead, Superpower, Bulu as well. And Greninja, which, can, which is like Protein or Ashkrin. Um, and Taunty. Taunty is like a pretty good man, and I think Taunty is also a good Kartana check. So, yeah, both players have pretty solid teams, and I think this game is going to be pretty fun to watch. Um, I think the lead choices from both players will be like uh, Sabella probably leads off with uh, Greninja, yeah, and uh, Sidemas leads off with uh, Tarn. And Tarn is a no drawback lead because it U turns on like everything. Even if uh, Sabella led off with the Magnezone. Um, CD Mask could have just um, U-turned right on the U-turned in the Magna Zone, and then uh, it's a 50-50 between Wall Switch or Flash Cannon. So, yes, CD Mask lost nothing by leading off with Taunty, and uh, I think Taunty was a great lead from CD Mask's part. And now Sabella leads with Greninja. So, um, so this is a pretty interesting turn because if Sabella is Protean Gren, uh, then so, uh, Ice Beam probably KOs the Tarn. Uh, I'm not really sure, but if Sidemas is bulky Tarn, I think he lives in Ice Beam and he can just and he's just free to U-turn. Uh, yeah, I think this is bulky Tarn because um, his Kartana switchins are non-existent. If this isn't uh, bulky Tarn, so this is most likely bulky Tornadus, and um, yeah, and uh, Sebelas is probably. Protean or Ash, it could, I think it's most likely Ash, uh, but it could be very well be Protean as well. But uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Okay, Sabella withdraws his um, Greninja, uh, probably because uh, Hydro Pump didn't kill or Ice Beam didn't kill, and he knows it and he didn't want to take the chip. Uh, okay, if he was Protean, he didn't want his Sash to be broken, and if he was Ash, uh, then he didn't, and he then he knows he doesn't. The hydro pump doesn't kill the fucking tornadoes, so uh, and U turn does a lot of damage to Greninja, and his Greninja is one of the only uh, heat transitions because when Mega Zam is not Mega Evolved, so that makes sense from Sabella, and yeah. Even Sudimas's play is may, may, yeah Sudimas's play was just U turn anyways, and now he's free to fire off a Magnusstorm as he just does that. Uh, yeah, that does a lot of damage to Greninja, and Greninja can like come in on the Magnus Storm just one more time. Um, yeah, now I think Sebella is actually free to go for the spikes here. The only thing that would be bad if is uh, is if uh, Sirimas was protect 
on the Heatran and uh, Sebala got locked into Spikes. But yeah, Tornadus is a fine switch in there because it covers all options and it's a great mid ground play by Sudimas. And he just gets to, and if he go, if he did go for the spice, he just gets to defog off. And so no, now we know that the Greninja is Ash for sure. So that's great for CD Mass, and that's a lot of nice information. Yeah. Okay, this play was a really aggressive and nice from Sabella because he just hard wall switches on the Tarn, uh, not expecting a Lander to come in. CD Mass expects the flash canning, predicting Sabella to predict the Landris, but. Um, Sebelo makes an aggressive play which works out for him and uh, yeah he just goes straight for the world switch and he brings in the Mega Zam. Uh, I mean he brings in the Alexam which is most likely a Mega and this is actually really good for um, yeah this is actually really good for uh, Sebelo because once Mega Zam ev Mega evolves then it's get it gets to trace Flash Fire and uh, it checks Tran effectively well. What, a good play from Sebelo here could be Psychic because there's no way Sudamas is actually going to stay in. And uh, he's most likely going to go out into the Landris or the Tornado T, predicting a Focus Blast. So, Sabella can make an aggressive play here and just click uh, Psychic. As both players are just thinking, and yeah, let's see what they decide to do. Um, hmm. Uh, comparatively, by the way, I think I like Sudimas' team a bit more than Sebella's because it's like more offensive and the offensive pres pre presence is always nice. Okay, um, he mega evolves and clicks Psychic. Okay, 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 nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, uh, oh yeah, I didn't go over all this Mons and Sudimas' team. It's probably like SD Mobile to break and it's probably like uh, Z on Bulu or Tran. Um, and, oh yeah, it's not, wait, did the Tran reveal its item? Um, yeah, it's leftovers, right? Yeah, it's leftovers. So his, his Z mover is probably the Tornadus or the Bulu, uh, which I think is most likely the Bulu. Okay, now Sirimas is uh, free to click the U turn here. What I think um, Sabella could have uh, actually done is an alternative play he could have done is like just stayed in with the Zam because U turn doesn't kill and he could have just clicked recover. Uh, but Landris is a fine play as well and. Um, he doesn't even risk the crit, so that's nice. But this kind of like leads to loss of momentum because if Sirimas gets off a U-turn on the Landris, then Greninja comes in for free and fires off a free hit. So that's not really nice. And his and since his only switch in is Majorna, which is A B, and he doesn't have any form of recovery like Wish Pass or any kind of cleric uh, to like support the Majorna, this is like really bad for um. The, yeah, this is really bad for Sabella whenever the Gren comes in for free and uh, the Majorna can come in only like uh, a couple of times more and if Sudamas connects all his pumps then uh, Sebella is going to be in a really bad position. Okay, Sebella goes for ag another aggressive play and goes straight for the wall switch as um, Sudamas also makes a very aggressive play and goes out in a Landris. Uh, here I think if Sebella wants to risk it and wants to go for it, he can just wall switch again because I don't think Sidemas is going to click Earthquake here because if he does click Earthquake and C Sabella goes out into Landris then Sidemas loses all his momentum and it's going to be bad for him. So I think he's definitely clicking U-turn here. Yeah, he does click U-turn but Sabella plays it safe which is fine. And yeah, this allows in the Gren for free and this is 100% rocks Landorus and it's most like and from the damage of U-turn you can probably say that it's like uh, it's like defensive Z fly probably for uh, because yeah I, I, it's probably the defensive Z fly because that's his only halucha check okay so Sudimas goes for hydro pump and misses which is like very huge because the damage is pretty crucial for him he needs to like connect all his pumps uh, on the Majorna so that he can like continue playing aggressively and stuff okay oh okay both players make the same aggressive play again uh, Sebella goes for the wall switch and uh, Sirimas just goes into Landris again and just U-turns again um, not really sure why uh, Sebella went out into Kartana he's probably trying to bluff the scarf so that the Greninja doesn't come in is what I think yeah but now he just goes gets to guard into his mobile and click player off so yeah, Sebella is like 
stuck in the turn turn core now and uh, um, yeah CDMS is taking a real big advantage of it as he should as yeah so now he just gets to click um, player of or he can double into Greninja what does he do here okay he just clicks player off I think yeah okay he just clicks player off which is also nice which is also fine but a double into Greninja would have been better in my opinion because uh, there's no way obviously which uh, there's no way Sabella would stay in and click leaf blade there and Landris was pretty obvious and if he goes on a Greninja then he just gets to click hydro pump again okay now he just yeah, goes on a tornadoes and defogs on the Z fly and oh my god it lives on one percent uh that's actually huge that's actually pretty huge uh okay i don't know the calcs uh, but this is probably defensive torn and that's probably like defensive uh yeah that's probably defensive z fly lando as well okay so sabella just u-turns on the zone uh I mean, CDMAS just U-turns on the zone, and uh, yeah, Sabella should, um, okay, he goes on Landers. Okay, Sabella, I think, should Wall Switch here, even though it's a very aggressive play. I think Wall Switch is the play here, because I don't think CDMAS at this point can afford to lose momentum. He's keeping up the turn, turn core, and I think he's going to keep doing it. From the style you see... Uh, from the way he's been playing, he's just going to keep U-turning. There's no way he's going to Earthquake and risk it. Um, yeah. But Sabella keeps... Uh, Sabella plays it safe again. Um, and I think Sabella should, like, stop playing this safe now because it might get a bit clumsy for him later on. Because um, the Greninja keeps coming in for free on Landris and keeps dealing a lot of damage to it. I mean, to the Majorna. So, yeah. And I think the Majorna just comes in one more time. And if Sirimas gets to connect all his pumps, then Ash get, the Greninja gets its Ash farm, and then Sebla is in a very, very bad position because Ash Ashran just destroys his fucking team. Um, yeah, I think such kind of teams like um, Megazam kinds of these kinds of teams require like a bulky grass for sure, like at least a Tang or a Bulu, or Greninja can just destroy such teams. Greninja is a really, really good mon. Okay, he goes on to uh, Zam on the rocks. Okay, Sudimas finally gets up his rocks uh, at turn 21. And finally, we have some hazards on the field, which are going to stay for some time. Um, yeah, okay. So Sabella probably clicks Focus Blast here, not risking anything. Oh, he just Psychics again. Okay, okay, interesting. And Sudimas just stays in and clicks Toxic, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, CDMAS is like outplaying Sabella at this point. Um, he's getting a lot of turns right, to, to say the very least. Oh my god, that's huge again. Yeah, the damage is like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. The toxic damage is now wrapping up. Uh, okay, Sabella throws in the Landris to the Horn Leech and he just sacks the Landris. So that's that's fine for Sabella, I think. Now I think he just starts to need... Now I think he just needs to like play more aggressive and he, I think he can still win. Uh, yeah, he needs to play like a bit more aggressive. Okay, so now um, the best possible thing that can happen this turn is like... I think Sebella just clicks Leaf Blade, to be honest. Oh my god, it's Protect Bulu and Sebella does click Leaf Blade. Okay, 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 okay. This is really interesting now. So I think Sabella is like forced to guard into the Magna Zone here. And I think um, if Sirimas has a superpower, he just clicks it. Or if he wants to be aggressive, I think he goes out into the heat run. Does he just superpower? Oh, he SDs. Oh my god. Sabella should not have stayed in there. I think he should have gone out in the zone. Because zone covers... Yeah, zone covered most of the place. Oh my god. That's actually rough. Now I think he has to like pick a mon to the Bulu. <sighs> yeah, I think like Zone even covered the SD because if he SD, then he had to flash cannon on the Protect, and then it was going to be a 50 50 if he was going to stay in or switch out. 
Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so I think uh, his most expensive, Sabala's most expendable member is probably the. I have no clue, to be honest. I think he needs all these members. Uh, what would I sack if I was Sabella here? I think I would sack the. Hmm. Yeah, I would probably sack the Greninja to the superpower. I don't know. Yeah, this is a tough turn for Sabella as he thinks. Hmm. Uh, oh, he just sacks the Kartana. I don't know if that was the right play. Uh, but then again, he didn't have any good sacks. So that that's probably fine, I guess. Like, um, but, but Kartana is his only way to win too, right? Like... Oh, uh, I really don't know. Yeah, I, I, it's definitely it was definitely Scarf Cartana because the Z move was Z mover was the Landorus, and yeah, probably Scarf. But yeah, Tornadus was at low health too, so Cartana could have like put in a lot of work if it like click click the right button. Uh, and the Greninja is always gonna be walled by the Bulu because Bulu has tech and stuff. Like I think Cartana was a fine sack too, but I would have sacked the Greninja to be honest. Okay, he clicks Psychic. Does Psychic even kill the fucking Bulu from this range? If he's modest, it probably does. Okay, Pseudomas doesn't even risk the roll, if it was a roll, that is. And he just sacks the Tornadus. And now he gets a free switch into Landris, and he just clicks U-turn, keeping up the turn-turn core. Uh, yes, Pseudomas has actually been playing really, really, really well this game. And Sebel has, has played well too, but I think he's played a bit more passive. And Pseudomas has played a lot more aggressive and... All his plays have worked out pretty well. Okay, now I think Sudimas just goes on to the Heatran, not risking the miss. He also gets leftovers in the grassy terrain. Yeah, perfect. And now he just clicks Earth Power, uh, not risking anything. I don't think he needs to risk the. Yep. Okay, wall switches, and I. Uh, it's it's Magirna is at seventy. Magirna is at seven percent, so. Uh, I don't know if it lives the rocks or not because Shardon rolls it up. Um, yeah. Um, okay, he goes on to the Greninja, but uh, then again, just Sudimas just goes on to his Bulu. And he has teched on it, so like. Oh, he has leftovers too, so yeah. This Greninja is never beating the Bulu. Yeah. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't know if Sebala can win this game. Uh, probably not. Until, uh, yeah, uh, I think Sebala's way to win this game is probably just crit the fucking Bulu. That's his only way to win. Oh, he gets up the grassy terrain for Sirimas, and now Sirimas can just click tech here. Yeah, that, that okay, that wasn't so optimal. I think Sebala should have gone out to the zone instead of the Zam. But I don't think it makes a huge difference in the long run of, yeah, in the long run, but it was that move wasn't optimal by Sabella. I think he should have just gone out of the zone and clicked Flash Cannon and like try to come out with the Greninja and click Hydro Pump and like try and crit the fucking Bulu. I think that would have been his best series of plays. And I, and yeah, again, in the long run, I don't think it matters. I think Sabella actually just lost this game either way. And CDM has actually played this game pretty fantastic. And yeah, I think he deserves this game for sure. I would like to. I would like to see Sudamas just finish it off with a uh, Greninja or the Landris or the Bulu even. Yeah, I the Bulu just. Uh, I think he okay. Now he goes under the Bulu, and it doesn't matter what Sabella goes out into. Okay, he goes under the Greninja. Okay, he goes under the Lander. Uh, he goes under the Landris. I think uh, Sudamas should have gone out of the Bulu there and just click Tech because he got an, because he got another round of uh, leftovers and grassy terrain, even if the zone came out. And he could have checked the Greninja better, not risking any kind of crits and stuff. Uh, actually, I don't even think it matters though, but yeah. So, yeah, Sudimas should just win this game. He just clicks Superpower here and gets a kill. 
as uh, Sebala goes on into the, ma- into the Magnezone superpower. Oh, Magnezone barely lives. Okay, that's interesting. Now he just texts, which is a fine play. And now I think he just goes hard into Greninja. Yep. And clicks Dark Pulse and wins the game. Yep. GG. Yeah, that was a that was a very good game. Uh, I'll be back again with some more narrations and some more interesting games as these. So, yeah. Doc Rich has me locked in his fucking basement, so I'll be narrating a few more games. So, subscribe to my man Doc Rich if you haven't already and click the like button. See ya guys. Peace.